Hello everyone, welcome back to the part 2 of this tutorial. So we were looking at uh, texture mapping and making sure that the scale is 1 before you start texture mapping. So if you hit Ctrl A and go to scale, then your scale becomes 1 and this is important. Okay, so we will look at this, Ctrl A and scale and make the scale 1. So we were working on the UVs for the wheel. As you can see, the UVs are not correct. So we will go to edit mode, go to wireframe mode, select all, and then go to UV and unwrap. Okay. Now unwrapping is not working because you are getting that roundness here. So we want to create a seam at this level. So let us go to edge and alt click this and alt click this shift shift alt u. And you <coughs> mark seam. Then again, we will go to wireframe mode, vertex mode, and UV unwrap. Okay, so. Now it looks better. Okay. Now the sides are these. Or oh, these are not the sides. Are these the sides? We need to create one more scene to open this up. So we will go to this, shift this. And then I'll also click on the other side. This is difficult to see. Let us go in wireframe mode. Shift. Okay, U marks in. Then vertex. Select the whole thing, UV and wrap. So let us look at what we got here. And these are horizontal to make them vertical. These two. Okay, so this one can be on top of it. Alright, and these ones can be. Okay, so they are vertical now. Then you can scale it. You can see how the seam. I could have put only one seam so that this doesn't happen, or we can just simply put this one on top of this one. Okay, we can turn the snapping off. Might work. Okay. So it tries to fix that seam problem. So that's about it. That is our UV mapping. We can put it the wheel and place it like this. So, so now we can shift D and Copy the wheel. Sh 
shift e right click convert on the other side okay so our car modeling is done now we don't uh, need this image we can access it later so now we have a light in the scene i'll delete the light for creating lighting we will add a plane add mesh plane scale the plane big what we will do is we'll select this one shift select this 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 and then lastly the car we'll go to edit control p and object to parent so if i can select the car the wheels will come with it so i don't have to select everything all the time and then we'll just place it on top of the plane okay and then we'll go to view viewpoint camera and view camera to view now we can position our camera angle for the car so maybe this one and then we can move we don't want any of this space so we can just fill it up with our plane okay so this is our camera go to render render image and this is what we get so we'll go to now render settings go to cycles and denoising render output will do 720 by 405 okay so we'll go here then we get this look we need to add an hdri image so go to hdri heaven and look for an hdri image so we have soft shadows All right, so we need to get soft shadows so we'll go to hdri whether it is outdoor or indoor it doesn't matter outdoor and then you can see that there's a soft shadow here this one has a soft shadow so like let, let us use suburban park maybe it is too light maybe something which has a little darker shadow maybe this one okay i'll use the 2k it's called forest cave so we'll go to world properties go to color environment texture open so in downloads and those forest okay so it creates those softer shadows we'll do rendering render image all right now what we need to do is uh, try to fix our texture so we don't have any specular reduce the roughness
okay you go to render setup and color management instead of filmic you can try to use raw and you get a darker color Or you can try standard okay so play with these try srgb to xyz none Okay, this looks good so it has shininess okay, so the shininess So you can see that the image now we have this bluish tinge so if you want to get rid of this bluish tinge what to get a pure white color what we need to do is uh, go to shading okay and then go to environment world and we will do some changes here so first thing we need to do is we need to select this image and go to object visibility shadow catcher okay so we don't see the view viewpoint camera okay so this is our camera uh, now what we will do is we'll go to add shader mix shader and then we'll add a mix shader here we will shift duplicate this one and put it here and the color becomes white okay and then what we will do is we'll add an input of light path then we'll connect this one here okay and then you get a perfectly white background so if you go to, go to render view render you can see how it is a bluish color here but now if you render render image you get a true white color all right so that way you can always have a pure white background with the rendered image and that concludes our tutorial we looked at how to model the object how to texture map how to use HDRI for lighting and then how to render it on a black background and try to get similar colors so now you can see that the color our color is darker than this image so if, if you want to further modify this we can go to Photoshop one of the ways is to fix the texture in Photoshop. I think this this one. Okay, so the image is actually light, but here it is dark. So we'll go to the render settings. Color management. Look is high contrast, low contrast.
last and there we are going to so it is yellowish so let us go to photoshop and try to image is actually yellowish but it's showing different in the render because of the settings we have xrgb will give us this look sRGB with high contrast Photoshop okay so we need to try and match these false color all right so I guess that should be it And this is the final look. All right, thank you very much. Bye bye.